Ahead of his final NRL match, Roosters halfback Krupa Kronk says he's uncomfortable being mentioned alongside the game's greats. Kronk will play in his ninth grand final on Sunday and will join an illustrious club of rugby league legends. Only Norm Proven and Brian Clay played in more deciders throughout their careers, playing in ten each, while Eddie Lumsden and Ron Coote also played in nine. No, no. Um, those guys... Um are pioneers of football today without the way that those guys, and you can go back to Daily Messenger, all those guys are the reason we are able to play today. Um, it sits with me uncomfortably to be even spoken about in the same breath because uh, I'm a result of the clubs and the teams and the people I've been involved with. Kronk hasn't revealed his plans post-retirement, joking with the media that he'll be unemployed from Monday and looking for a job. Premiership coach Damien Hardwick has revealed senior players were involved in the selection of Marley and Pickett. Tigers forward Jack Rerold says he's proud of the club for selecting Pickett, who etched his name in grand final folklore with an outstanding AFL debut. I actually like, was borderline crying when he kicked that goal, like, just from pure emotion. And the story, like the ability for the arguably the best player in the competition, who... <laughs> He's on the verge of winning his Norm, second Norm Smith medal to go out of his way to kick mm. that ball to a bloke in his first game. Is as I'm so proud of just the club for that reason. I'm so proud of the coach to be bold enough to select him. Um, but uh, just Dimmer had the courage to pick him. Marlon had the courage to play. And even our players like. <laughs> Bloody Jack, he's annoying. He walks in match committee. He wants to have his little say. Yeah. <laughs> he's going. He was dying to pick him. You know yeah. and. It's a credit to, once again, Marlon, but a lot of people at our footy club put a lot of work and support into getting Marlon and his family over. And I've got no doubt, you know, he gets the medal, but those people deserve an enormous pat on the back for giving him a chance.